Hello, algebra students, and let's uh, take a look at this example. It says simplify 4 to the third power, also known as 4 cubed, minus 5 times 2 to the second power. We're going to do this sucker by hand because uh, technically things like this can uh, come up on the non-calculator section of the GED math test. But just to remind you guys, you can completely bomb the non-calculator section and still get a very high score. So the main thing to walk away from this with is not your times tables or how to multiply by hand or any of that, but we do need to fully understand the order of operations the order in which we simplify. And why do I say we need to understand that? Well, look, we're simplifying. We've got a lot of numbers and different operations, different things to do with those numbers. And we have more than one operation. So anytime you have more than one or operation, the order of operations is there to help you out. So order of operations says do the groupings first, then any exponents, then any multiplication and its inverse division. And then finally, any addition and its inverse subtraction. Now, if any of you learned that other acronym that I refuse to say because I hate it so much because it leads students astray, you might think the first step is parentheses. And if you think the first step is parentheses, you might come here and do this part first. Like, oh, look, there's some parentheses telling me uh, five times two, so I'll start there. But I would remind you, <laughs> That it's not the parentheses that come first. It's what's inside parentheses, not only parentheses, there's lots of different ways to group, but if it's, it's, if there's any operations inside. So let's relook here then at this expression and it's parentheses. I'm going to have to do this. There we go. Um, look inside of it, guys, inside of it. There's no work to do inside the parentheses. It's just a single number. It's a two. Okay. So yeah, there's something that looks like it could be a grouping. Parentheses are one way we group, but there's nothing inside that. There's no other group going on here. Okay. There's no groupings to consider. So now we move on to the second step exponents. And we have a couple of exponents. We have four to the third power and we have two to the second power. That is where we should start. Okay, so four to the third power, if you don't have it memorized, which I don't think most people do, then we'll just come over here to the side and do our side work. We're not gonna mess up our beautiful algebra over there with our side work, but four times four is 16. We're gonna multiply that by four, and again, side work, or call, use your calculator, or call your girlfriend or your mama. I really don't care how you figure out this is 64, honestly. But what I do care about is that you do these beautiful <laughs> mathematical statements so that my simplified number goes right underneath. So right underneath four to the third power, I write 64. Okay, so I use this piece up. Now, that wasn't the only exponent. The other exponent over here is two to the second power. So I need to do that. So two to the second power means the same, right, as two times itself, or two multiplying two times, which is four. Now, let's think about this. Let's think about those parentheses. Those parentheses there were communicating to us something. It wasn't a grouping. What was it? It was multiplication. We were saying that this thing was multiplying with the five. And so we haven't done that multiplication yet. We are supposed to do exponents before multiplication. So those parentheses are still there, not telling us about a grouping, but telling us about an act of multiplication we haven't done yet. And now, because Kate always yells at us and we know that the most common mathematical error students make is not math, but secretarial skills, we will be good little obedient math students and write down every symbol from the last expression that we haven't yet used so that these two expressions are exactly equivalent. Okay, now let's keep going. So we dealt with all the exponents 
And now it's time and only now to do the multiplication implied by these parentheses. So there's the multiplication. Five times four is 20. And once again, I'm going to be a good secretary, secretary so as not to um, mess with my own head <laughs> by not uh, writing down what I need to do. So I'm going to drop anything I haven't used. I haven't used the minus and I haven't used the 64. And then there's the math to do, 64 minus 20. Again, do side work if you need to figure this out by hand, but it's 44. Hey, so if you got 36 or negative 36 actually, but that's because you got tricked by this stupid acronym I hate and you thought you had to start with parentheses. No, you start with groupings, which yes, groupings, can be inside of parentheses. But just because you see parentheses doesn't mean there's a grouping. Sometimes there's just a single number in it and then it's not being used to group. Yeah, all right, if you have any questions about this, post it to our uh, Facebook group. Mm, otherwise, happy learning.